Hi, and welcome to the Inksot Notes video tour. Today we're gonna learn on how to add a new rights and how to add a new events into the Google Calendar and how to use the text conversion feature into the Google Calendar tool. This is not a secret that the Inksot Calendar tool of text conversion has become one of its greatest features we have already developed. And this is the thing we're gonna show you today. So to create a new event and to write it down, you just need to kind of write anything over the concrete date you wish. So for example, I'm gonna pick the smallest ink I would like to. And I'm writing down at the 5 p.m. that I'm having the, let it be an event. I can use both my stylus and my fingers. And please note that I'm using an Android, uh, smallest Android tablet here. That's a tablet of uh, Lenovo. This is a previous year's model of a width about 7 inches. It's pretty small, but it could be a great pocket calendar that you could use to write down your events. So I'm writing down the word, let it be, event. Uh, and what is most interesting part is that I have just a horrible um, kind of handwritten. It's true, I cannot really greatly write with my hands. So, and plus the device is pretty small and it's pretty hard to write anything here. But anyway, you can do anything like this and then you press the tick button. And now the most interesting part. To add up anything you would like to, you just have to press on the alarm clock button right here. You can do it with your finger and wait some time for it to get uploaded. So. So, as long as it has appeared, you can select the time you would like to add to the hour. So, for example, let it be the 5 p.m. And now we have two available features. The first one is to convert to text. Let's select this toggle. And we are having a loading process. And voila! Here is what we have. A fully text converted word event that we have written before. Pretty cool, isn't it? And now what we have to do is to export it to Google Calendar. Of course, I am available not to do this, but let it be, I'm using the Google Calendar a lot and I'm like using it. So let's add it, export to Google Calendar. Again, we have pushed the toggle button and I'm gonna press the OK. I have a message, so am I sure that I want to add a notification or not? Yes, I'm sure. And here what happens next. I am offered to authorize my Google account. I am already have it. So here we go. And we are having some time to wait. And that's all. This one is already done. And the event has already been successfully added into the Google Calendar. Now it's possible to add and open up the Google Calendar to check out what has happened and everything's gonna be okay. What is more, here in the week event I'm having my event uh, put it just right here. And for example if I'm opening the month, again I'm having my event here as a colored bar. I hope you like this tutorial, so please do not forget to push the like button, to subscribe for the channel and to open up the ring bell too. So I'm gonna see you next in the future videos. Thanks for your watching and have a nice day. Bye!